Hey golfers, Michael Geiger here with Second Swing, sitting down with Mr. Larry Bobka, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Larry, today we're talking about fitting putters for golfers, something you've done countless times. If I'm walking in, I see countless putters in a Second Swing location. There's center shafted putters, there's heel shafted right. putters, there's you, you know arm lock putters. Where do you kind of start with kind of demystifying the, the putting process for golfers? Well, you know, I, I'm going to take you back to the early 80s to my club pro days. Putters are impulse buys. You know, and here's where I think they're impulse buys because, you know, Mr. Smith goes out and plays with his buddies Saturday morning and putts, you know, has 38 putts, doesn't putt very well, three putts all over the golf course, comes in, walks into the pro shop, you know, there's 12 putters in the pro shop, hits a few of them, grabs one he likes, and then goes off and buys it. Okay. Well, did Mr. Smith get a better putter than he had from earlier in the day? The answer to that is no. Okay. I really feel like people, people get frustrated with putting. Mm -hmm. They don't really understand how much the length, the loft, the lie angle, the type of putter really matters to them. And they kind of forget about that. They come in, they, they, oh, this one feels great. I'm going to go out and roll it. Well, they don't know anything about that putter. They might have even bought a putter that was worse than the one they had. So what I like to do when it, when it's especially in, we always talk about it, second swing, 300, three to one, meaning, hey, there's 300 options. We want to take it down to three. And out of those three, we're going to find the one that's going to help. So especially when I get somebody in here in a putter fitting and they really, you know, they've got an old putter or they're frustrated and they just want to start over. Well, the first thing is we kind of walk around the putter corral. You know, we have a lot of putters. What looks good to you? Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, that's what's important. You know, I've, I've said this before to you. I mean, it's like going to the dealership and buying a car that you never liked the, you never liked the color, you never liked the tires, you never liked the way, you know, why would you do that? You wouldn't do that, because every morning you go out to your garage and go, geez, I hate this thing. Mm -hmm. So why would we do that with, your, with a golf club? So first of all is what, what appeals to their eye? We all know that there's tons of alignment aids, okay? This is a Goodwood putter that all it has is a dot on it. But people like long lines, you know, we've talked about in the past about alignment and aiming. Yep. You know, whatever on a putter helps you aim, that's going to give you confidence. So we can work around that. So that's the number one thing. The number one thing is I, I walk them around and see what they like. Okay, so out of that, we'll grab three, maybe four putters of that style, go in, walk into the Quintec, and then hit some putts with those putters and see which one creates the best numbers right off the bat. Mm -hmm. Which one they like to feel. You know, there's so many different faces. This is a solid, this is a solid, milled out of a solid block of stainless steel. You know, there's insert, there's all kinds of insert putters. There's different, there's different grooves in the face. So all of these things create a different feel. So what do you want to feel? That's number two. So now we've gone to look, we've talked about feel now, now let's get to the nuts and bolts. Let's get to the specs. Let's get to the, let's get to the loft. Number one, got to find the right loft for their putting stroke. Do they have a tendency, you know, do they have a tendency to hit putts where the shaft is at 90 degrees? Or is there a little bit of positive shaft angle or is there a little bit of negative shaft angle? That's important because that's important how the ball is going to come off the face of the putter and what loft they need. Then let's take a look at their setup. Let's take a look at the lie angle they need, mm -hmm. okay? Then we've got to look at length of that putter. So once we get those three things down, now you're maybe have, now you're between two of those three of the, two to three of those putters. Which one, were, which one feels the best? Which one looks the best? Which one to try? You know, hey, we have a 30 day play guarantee here. I highly suggest 30 day play coming in buying a putter from the store because now you're going to come in now you've got an opportunity that you've gotten fit by me you can go out and hit some putts you can get out in the real world where the putts are breaking or uphill and downhill you're dealing with the ground see how you do with that putt mm -hmm. okay and then from there hey 
you know, I was in between, I was in between a Goodwood and a Cameron. You know, I bought the Goodwood, but you know, I think I'm going to return it after, before the 30 days are up, full store credit. I only want to try the Cameron, okay? And then you settle on the Cameron. You like the Cameron putter. You've got to use, you got to have the, um, be smart enough to use it. It's almost like a demo program. I mean, it's a demo program for a month. Mm -hmm. I mean, who wouldn't want to demo a putter for a month that's been fit to them? And one of the big things that a lot of people find out is, is what they think they need and what they do need are totally opposite. Right. And that's what jumps out to me. Kind of the word that pops into my head when you describe this is really, it seems like a collaboration where you get the mixture of their feedback of look and feel, but then the fitter comes in and they kind of go under the hood and they get in the specs. Yeah. And to kind of together, they form kind of an opinion of what the best putter is for them. It's not the fitter just taking control and just picking one for them. It's really a kind of a mutual process where together they find uh, the best flat no, stick for No, because, if, I mean, think about it this way. If, you know, you're not married yet, but think about it this way. You know, you give your, you give your wife free reign to, to pick the new bedroom color. And you show up one day and, that, and the bedroom is painted and you kind of look at it and you kind of go, ooh, glad, I'm, glad my eyes are closed most of the time. Are you speaking from experience? I'm speaking from <laughs> experience. Um, so, but think about it. Why would, I, why, would I try to, why would I try to force feed you into a golf club? The customer, the player's got like, to gotta like the way it feels, got to like the way the grip feels, the way it, way it looks at a dress, the way the putter swings. That's incredibly important when putting because we all know that it doesn't take a lot of physical strength to putt. It takes a lot of confidence to right. putt. And if you've got something in your hand that you're confident with, you're going to make more putts. Because ultimately at the end of the day, as, as you've all heard me say before, the three most important things in putting are speed, speed, and speed. Well, if this, if we haven't gone under the hood and found the right specs and the right look, it's hard. It's going to hard, be hard to hit the putts at the right speed. Absolutely. So it's it's really important. Well, you've definitely described how important the fitting process is for putting. I think, as you mentioned at the top, sometimes buying a putter is sort of an impulse decision, but getting with a second swing fitter will kind of take all that guesswork and impulse out of it, and you'll walk away with the best putter for your game. Yeah, absolutely, and you know, and. It, We've had people come in here, and I've fit some people, and you know they they always expect that well you're going to sell me a three or four hundred dollar putter. No, I'll sell you a two hundred dollar putter. If you think a hundred dollar putter is going to putt better, we'll sell you a hundred dollar putter. It doesn't really matter. What matters is the club that the club that's going to work. I mean, we've all seen my thirty nine dollar five wood. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's important. You know, I, I work with the Gophers now. They, they're practicing putting with a couple 80-year-old putters that I bought out of a barrel for $2 a piece. Not here, somewhere in an antique store. But you've got to find, you got to find what works. You got to find what's confident because confidence breeds making more putts. That's the bottom line. Well, whatever your price point, whatever your preference, come into Second Swing and get fit for a new putter today. Larry, thanks again for your time. You're welcome. Cheers.